Hello, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 11.34 a.m. Monday, December 21st. Now to you vegans out there saying, well, I'm sure they poisoned this meal. It would have killed cattle. Well, I got news for you. It has. If you feed enough animals, cattle, sheep, lambs, anything that it eats, it's a herbivore, enough leafy greens with enough oxalates, you'll kill them. Even a horse, you'll kill them. Here, yeah, look. Flock and herd case notes, oxalate poisoning, Samantha York, veterinarian officer, Darrington. This is from out of Australia. Big sheep and cattle country. Oxalate ingestion produces several syndromes developing on the type of oxalate found in the plant. Oxalates can be found as water-soluble oxalates or can combine with calcium to form water-insoluble calcium oxalate. Some of the sy syndromes that can result include sudden death or chronic renal damage due to the consumption of plants containing higher concentrations of soluble oxalates. Equine nutrition hyperparathyroid parathyroid. They're talking about a horse's thyroid, thyroid. It's called big head due to insoluble calcium oxalate in the plant. Your horse gets a, a, a disease called big head. That's from oxalates eating too much leafy greens. So yes, animals do get oxalate poisoning. So the question, why aren't animals dying of oxalate poisoning? They eat greens all, all day long. No, they don't. They don't eat leafy greens. Only you dummy vegans sit there and put six cups of spinach in there. And let's throw some dates on it. All of those things are high in oxalates. Then you put in some soy milk which is also high in oxalate. Even a fucking cow is smarter than a vegan. Now, you could read this study. I'll put it in there. Hey, look, look, we'll give you one. A particular case study focused on acute and chronic oxalate poisoning affecting sheep on the property in the Western Division. Homebred merino loos and lambs were recently introduced Dorper rams experience oxalate poisoning after consuming New Zealand spinach. Leafy greens, oxalate poison. Acute toxicity was suspected when merino ooze and lambs were yarded for 48 hours and released hungry into the nearby holding paddock, which contained large lush patches of New Zealand spinach and little else. So there they were eating leafy green spinach. Rapid consumption of large quantities of this plant by three ooze and lambs raised strong suspicion from their sudden death overnight. Not, not only didn't, did it kill him, it killed him overnight. So don't tell me oxalates aren't toxic. That it kills an animal overnight, a, a big animal like a sheep. A 200-pound animal, if it eats enough of that spinach, leafy greens with all that oxalate, it kills them. The remaining ooze were not affected to produce... The, the, the producer suspected toxicity and did not report it. Several weeks later, the producer noticed six recently introduced doper rams with weight loss, depression, and lameness. The rams were running with 100 apparently healthy merino ooze in a 2008 capata. A three and a half year old doper ram took the producer's interest. He noted the ram had marked weight loss over two months. Severe scouring, pyloria, frequent periods of extended recumbency, tailed the mob, then mustered, and eventually the ram became anorexic. If that doesn't describe a vegan, I don't know what else does. It's the same thing that it does to a herbivore. It's going to do to some, an omnivore, and it's going to be even worse. Clinical pathology and histopathology will be discussed as part of the following discussion. You can read the whole thing. Oxalates do kill herbivores if they eat the wrong leafy greens. In this case, it was spinach. It killed several rams, it killed several ooze, and several lambs. Stop spreading lies that oxalates don't cause the body damage. If it's killing animals, when you do a an animal test and the poison kills the animal, that means It'll kill you. It's killing horses. Vegans, don't come here with none of that nonsense. You don't know what you're talking about.
you're outclassed. You don't know, you're not as highly educated as you think you are, and you're not as smart as you pretend to be, all right? And nobody else is as dumb as you. There's, there's people out there, believe it or not, vegans, that are actually smarter than you. It might hurt your feelings, but that's the world. All right, I'm out of here.